plastics obviously come in all sizes, all different colours, and it can be mind blowing when you walk into a tackle shop. First thing I want to talk about is your target fish. What are you actually trying to target? What size fish? You know, a lot of this can come from um, knowing a venue or local knowledge and things like that, but the main thing is, is to know what you're trying to target from your elastic. Today I'm at Bono Mill Fisheries. Fantastic fish today, it's absolutely lovely. Uh, we've, had, we've had a great day fishing to be fair, uh, and I'm catching on pellet shallow. And I just, like I said, I just want to talk about the elastic that I'm using. The elastic I'm using is, is our stretch elastic. It's basically the yellow of our holler elastics. Now, it's classed as an eight, an eight holler. Now, I know this might sound really light, you know, really light for the size of fish that I'm catching because I'm catching quite decent sized fish, but the difference is it's a holler elastic. Now, a holler elastic is a lot different to, to say, for instance, an eight solid. Now, if I were to fish a solid elastic, I wouldn't pick an eight solid because it's too light. Now the difference with a hollow elastic and a solid is it stretches a lot further. Now for me, that's it's massive. You know, it's a lot different. There we go, I'll just get that one in for you. You know, it's a big factor. The other factor is a pullable. You know, everybody's on a pullable now, whether it's a bottom puller or whether it's a side puller. And again, if I were targeting uh, bigger fish down the edge, I wouldn't choose this elastic because again, I'm going on the target fish that I'm actually trying to target. The target fish down the edge of normally big carp that come in, so I'd step my elastic up according to the size of the fish that I'm trying to catch. Now, in this case, down the edge, I think they're going to be big fish. I use the, the green elastic from Browning, which is again is a, is a size 12 ish. And again, people think that that's quite quite a light elastic. I'll just I'll just done up this one. Quite a light elastic, but again, because it's a hollow elastic, what happens? The fit you've let the fish swim out. And because it stretches and the amount of stretch that's in hollow elastic, it slows the fish down. So it tires the fish out as it's going further and further out in the lake. Now again, if I were to fish a 12 solid down the edge, it would bottom out very quickly because it hasn't got the stretch factor which, which hollow elastics have got. Now there's only really four hollow elastics that I use within the Browning range. One of them's pink, which is a size like four to five, which I use for F1s and winter fishing. Um, I use a blue elastic, which is the one above it, which is around a six, which is nice for shallow um, fishing on uh, F1s, etc. Now the yellow is a lovely all-round elastic, so it's whether I'm fishing for F1s on the bottom, all different sizes, or I'm not sure what I'm going to hook, or whether I'm fishing shallow for carp. Now the reason I use the yellow for fishing shallow for carp is because it's soft. So when I hook the fish, the fish are allowed to swim away without bow waving away and uh, making loads of uh, noise and you know spooking other fish. They, you can actually hook them and they'll swim away. If I were to use something heavier than this, you'd hook them and they would make a lot of commotion and the fish would spook away. So going back to the elastics that I use, so that was the blue. This is the yellow, which is the next size up, which is an eight. The next one up from that is a white. Um, I, I like that for standard fishing. For standard fishing, standard carp fishing on the bottom, I like the white elastic, which is a great 10. Uh, but again, like I say, it's got loads of stretch, so you can hook them and you can just let them swim out. And then for my edge fishing, dead simple. I just use the green. I always use the green. It's a 12, 12 rated elastic. And again, it's very soft on the strike, but as it's swimming out, it'll power up and it'll stop them fish from surging too far into the lake. You can turn the reds and you can soon get them under control. Mm -hmm.